Hi and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Atul Mishra. Let's begin. The Eurozone economy is in bad shape. It's like a sick person stuck in bed. Everything seems to be going wrong. In the first quarter of 2023, the Eurozone's GDP only grew by 0.1%. That's not much at all. Spain and Italy managed a small expansion of 0.5% while France managed 0.2%. But Germany, the powerhouse of Europe, didn't grow at all. Overall, it's safe to say that the Eurozone economy is stagnant. And so, it's not at all a good situation. Germany, the economic powerhouse of Europe, is facing a tough time as major companies are leaving the country due to a weak outlook. Where they are heading? Well, it seems like the US is the place to be. European firms in industries such as steel and fertilizer are packing their bags and moving to the US. Why? It's all about stable energy prices and generous government support. Subsidies can work like wonders. As this trend continues, there are growing calls within the EU for the European Union to step up its game and resist this exodus. However, EU Commissioner Ursula von der Leyen doesn't seem to be in the mood for that. Ursula von der Leyen has always been seen as a politician with a strong affinity towards the US, earning her the label of a deep state politician. And now she's proven that her love for America is genuine. In a historic move, an American expert will be joining the EU. Fiona Scott Morton, known for being one of the world's top economists in a field with an impressive academic background and a track record of public service, has been appointed as the European Commission's chief competition economist. However, this decision has faced opposition mostly from French politicians. The Commission's decision to bring in Scott Morton, a professor from Yale University, has sparked a controversy. Why? Well, she is an American citizen, making her the first non-EU person to hold such a high-ranking commission position, and there's more to it. She has a track record of consulting for big technology companies, including her recent work with Microsoft on its Activision deal. Now she is stepping into a role where she will primarily advise on investigations and regulations targeting major American tech giants. Scott Morton isn't just any economist. She's also a former U.S. antitrust regulator and a well-respected academic who has reignited the United States' focus on curbing the market power of large corporations, especially the realm of big tech. But wait a minute, we've got an interesting situation here. Apparently, an American economist is being brought to help Ursula and Brussels reduce competition. But let's be real, do we really think that's going to happen? America may say they're all about democracy and fair share, but are they really? Never, it seems like they just want to make everyone their puppet. Now, Biden wants the EU to be America's little puppet too. Ursula's choice of an American insider to help the EU reduce dependence is raising some eyebrows. It all seems a bit fishy, like it's all rigged right from the start. The appointment of an American economist to assist Ursula and Brussels in reducing competition raises doubts about the intentions behind it. It's a situation that seems suspicious and potentially fixed from the start. We'll have to wait and see how this unfolds as the truth behind the scenes may be more revealing than we anticipate.